What's up, guys? Welcome back. Um, here in Beverly, Mass. Today with Sebastian from VIP Pickups. Sebastian, hey thanks for having us. Uh, sure. You will. So we brought the uh, Black 335 along. Um, I had Sebastian's uh, pots procured, and we're gonna uh, install them in today. I just want to give you a quick tone demonstration of what the guitar sounds like beforehand. It's quite muffled. The pots are 300k as opposed to. Sebastian's special blend of pots. So I'm excited to get those in here. We're also gonna do a little, some trickery in there, but uh, right now I'm just gonna give you a tone demo and then we're gonna dig into the guitar. Here, so check it out. plugging into a, what did you say the sample was? PRS 30. PRS 30, just for a reference to test. So he and I both noticed the, the, pickups have, the pickups have a great singing quality, but in some ways they're being restrained and choked off by the 300K pots. Sebastian's designed uh, potentiometers. Um, they're really well known, the Les Paul Forum, all the guys are talking about them. But they just kind of, almost you say, take a blanket off of the tone, you know what I mean? And, and free up some of that tone. It sounds a little muffled at times. Um, it still sounds good, which is deceiving. And you wonder, well, how's it gonna sound better? To me, these pots are just gonna put it that much, that much far ahead of what it already sounds like. So here's just the neck position. <laughs> A little muddy, you have that little bit of a muddy characteristic. It's not so articulate, it can get very lost in the... You know, something like that. See, with that style tone right there, I would think my tone knob was rolled down a little bit, but it's not. It's all the way wide open. So you're going to the bridge. Extremely barky, but not as clear as I would like. Sebastian, we're gonna start digging in. We're gonna to talk to Sebastian a little bit about his company, about pickups, what got him into it, and uh, hopefully in the end we come out with, um, yeah, uh, a screamer. So I'll see you soon. Peace. All right, guys. So we're here with Sebastian from VIP. Sebastian, thank you so much for letting me come up to your your uh, workstation today and uh, work on this three three five. Tell us a little bit about um, you know your company and you know your passion for tone, I guess. Well, the company started a few years back um, in, in Seattle when I was still living in Seattle. And um, it was mostly about, you know, everybody, you know, who plays guitar and is at one point disappointed with, you know, what's around. And, you know, especially when you start getting into vintage guitars. And I had the pleasure um, to have good friends at Emerald City Guitars, that very nice vintage guitar shop in, in Seattle. Oh yeah. So I've been there a whole bunch of times, became good friends with the people. And so I got to play vintage guitars uh, that I'd never had before. Um, and I got to understand what the difference is between, you know, a you know vintage guitar sound and uh, the modern guitar sound. And with yeah. modern, I mean even re reissues. Right. Um, and I started getting into uh, maybe I should try a vintage guitar myself. So I got a vintage guitar and then I had the real comparison between the vintage guitar and the new stuff and it just didn't really work out. So, and I'm a scientist by trade. He is. So, uh, so I, uh, I, I don't really believe much into this voodoo stuff that, you know, is, is around in a lot of forums and, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, you got to wind this pickup, you know, full moon. Yeah, on a Wednesday. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I was more interested in actually seeing, you know, test data and, you know, figuring out how can I analyze um, what's around and kind of replicate that. So you kind of approached it from a scientific way because that's what you knew. Exactly. And, and that's what I personally think is the, the right way to do it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so I, so I did that and I wound my first, I designed my first set uh, of humbuckers, which is called the lovers. Yeah. And that, um, which I first only made for myself, of okay. course. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, showed it a couple of friends and they were really excited about it. Um, guys at Emerald City Guitars were yeah. like, you yeah, know, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. 
and so on and so forth. Um, and I sent it out to uh, the Doug and Pad show. They compared it to a bunch of other uh, yeah. boutique pickups. And uh, yeah, people were really interested. And it turned out um, that a lot of people are interested in those yeah. pickups. Yeah. So it's great. And that, um, and I, but I didn't want to stop there. So I, you know, I went on and then I, the next big thing was the VI pots for sure that I'm going right. to put into your guitar. Right, right, right. Uh, and that was, um, I have uh, I have an old Les Paul Jr. And uh, I tried to replicate that um, for, you know, smaller gigs. I didn't yeah. want to bring the old one. So I brought, I wanted to, you know, I made a replica of that and tried replica pots, um, CDS pots or whatever uh, was around. And uh, I could never really replicate that taper and the yep. feel of the vintage pots. Yeah. It always, it never really sounded like it. So I, um, I just decided to um, try to, you know, analyze the taper, measure the resistance, you know, and so on and so forth, and um, did all that. And then I found with Burns, I found a company that would work with me together yeah. to replicate those. And after a month, actually more than a month, a year of R&D and lots of prototypes and sacrificing a bunch of old NOS, um, oh. yeah, that hurt, um, NOS pots. We finally came up with the VI pots, um, which uh, luckily I was really happy to hear that a lot of people that really know old vintage guitars way better than I do yeah. um, are really happy with them. And uh, yeah, and that's my approach to everything. I, I, I try to scientifically analyze what the problem is and how can I solve it, and then I kind of try to solve it. It's amazing. I mean, the uh, you know the feedback I've gotten from from the stuff or everything I've read, all the reviews, I mean, the stuff definitely holds up and it's great. I hope you can scientifically figure out how the hell we're going to get all this wiring back into this 335. Well, let's first figure out how we can get it out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check back in in a minute. Yeah, all right, sounds good. So how was that, Sebastian? It was wrestled you a little bit, huh? Yep. Now, explain to us why, explain to the audience why the neck pickup is out. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the VI pots for three positions, actually, for the ones that are most important. Um, which is the neck pickup because that's where you want to have the high ohms that the VI pots have and the um, the bridge volume and we're going to push a, put a push pull pot to the um, to the to the bridge um, tone pot so you can do a face switch uh, for the for the guitar so you can have these cool BB King uh, tones on this guitar oh. so for that unfortunately the Tim Shaw pickups, here it is, in all its beauty. Really renowned pickup, well-renowned pickup. Yeah, right? they, it was basically the first attempt of Gibson to go back and replicate the um, good old PAF pickups. And I would say it's probably also the first time that they actually did a good job at that. Okay. Um, the problem is, with that, you can't really do this because you have to kind of split the coils and this is the one conductor wire so we have to put a two conductor wire on this so i gotta open this up but you've done yeah. it a thousand times before no pressure it's only my <laughs> guitar and i it's live only two hours your... away <laughs> yeah we now, have all those goodies on the bench looking to go in too yeah it's uh, it's not a problem i've done this quite a few times so don't you worry about it all right so i'm looking forward to this going yeah. to make this guitar scream sure about that we'll check in again right. without giving any secrets tell us what we're about to do here <laughs> I mean, it's not really a secret. So this is, um, these are the two coils that are hum humbuckers, right? So I'm going to keep this to keep them together. And I'm going to, this is the, this is wired to the ground right now. And this is the hot wire. I'm going to get this off the ground, take this cable off, this lead off, and put a new lead on, put these two basically, give them their own leads so that you can basically switch from this to this, and that way you will be able to switch the polarity from this one to this one. Excellent. That's the, whole so that's the same thing would be as disassembling a pickup and flipping the magnet. It's not exactly the same thing. Same sound. But it's a similar sound, yes. And then in the end, we still have a, a, a humbucking pickup. We always have a humbucking pickup. Yeah, it's yeah. It, the phys physically it's the same thing. Excellent. All right, are you nervous? No. I am. <laughs> Look, it looks like my house. All the stuff everywhere. Madman. Yeah. Scientist. That's true. Good luck. All right. All right. Was this a success or what? How'd we do? Um, 
We're back Patient, together. Patient is alive. Good. We're not completely together yet, but if you want to take a look. It is fully alive. Boom. Ready to be used. And you can see now you have your two yeah. two leads. And then we can do the the coil, oh, the, the, the face split. So we're basically going to sound just like uh, Jimmy King. Page or BB King, right? We're going to play as good as them as well. Um, you will. No, not me. <laughs> I left my hands. You have the today. you have the potential for sure. Oh Jesus! No pressure. No pressure here. All we'll right. hear it in a bit. Checking back. All right, so we got the pickup taken care of. Now we're we're pre making the harness to kind of help installation a little easier. Is that what you say we are doing? That's exactly what we're doing. And what, what is your stress level like at this point? Mm, it's a little higher. Is it because I haven't shut up since I showed up? Or? <laughs> no, that's, that's not it. I just uh, want to make sure that we get it right the first time. So yep. don't we, that we don't have to put it, put it in and out of the guitar again if something does not work. Right. So we want to we want to keep the original harness like it is. We're not going to reuse and change yeah. things. And this this is not really going to have an effect on the pots are mostly going to have the effect on what we've changed. And we stated yes. that we were already changing pots from the beginning. So it's not like, you know, making a new wiring harness is totally gonna you know give us a false reading of what we would have no, sounded like anyways. no 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 it's it no absolutely not no that won't have any effect at all are you excited as i am very much okay i'm very excited to see how the guitar sounds like taking the blanket off yeah just the push pull alone i mean i'm i'm just excited on that and let alone letting that thing breathe a little more it's going to be a lot of fun and yeah. we're going to check in really soon to head over to Vintage inspired pickups and um, Tele, Strat, PAF, P90, whatever the hell you want, you can find it there. Trust me. I just drove two hours to hang out, so I wouldn't just say. Uh, I can't wait to put it in the guitar. Let's put it this way. I just can't wait for me to leave. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that. My poor friend Sebastian. Tedious, painstaking wiring. Oxid in that old pot. Yeah. Pull it up, lift it, lift the pot up. Well, it's doing something. A, no, no. Won't hear a difference, but. So now what? Uh, now it's time to install, huh? Yep, now it goes back into the guitar. Say Shiza. <laughs> Say it. That's going to be a Scheiss Albeit. Oh, was it? Say it again? Scheiss Albeit. has the new pots in uh, we also Sebastian also wired in a, a push-pull pot for the out of phase tone which gives the whole guitar another different character it's basically got four tones in it so Sebastian how was it uh, it was a bit of work always on three uh, 35s 
But I think it was totally worth it. That's a different guitar now. Yeah, the the first being in the room, I can tell you that the guitar has like a more of a vocal character, and it's it, it, the the cleans. It's a clean overdrive now. Instead of being muffled, the notes come through with a little sharper edge, but there's still that fat, warm grittiness to it, which is something that you know, obviously, I want. Um, man, one step closer to making this guitar machine. Yeah. So that's, did you notice, like, when you turn it down, it just cleans up, right, without yeah. getting muddy. So if you had that's the neck pickup all the way up. And that's just a little thirty watt amp, but when you roll it down. That's it, and it just, yeah, the, it's just it's the pots. clear uh, indication that pots have, well, you got to think, too, the pickups are passing through them, so yeah, that's right. it's a straight it's a straight passage right to the output jack, so, man, I can't thank you enough. Yeah, you're more than welcome. It was so much fun, man. And if anybody needs any kind of info, pickups, they want to start, uh, they want to mess with those pots, you also have some Stratocast, am I allowed to say that? Yeah, they're, uh, we're about to have them. They're uh, supposed to ship by the end of October, early November. They're uh, Stratocast, made for Fender guitars, solid and play chat. Pre-CBS style where they... Pre-CBS, yeah, 50s, 60s. Yes. Kind of... Uh, where that spread. magic lays lays in there, right? You know, yes. Because that extra, that's where the extra 5% is. That's, yeah, that's exactly right. So if they want any info, they can go to your website? Yeah, www.vintageinspiredpickups.com. And, uh, you know, Sebastian can help you out with your pickup needs, your pot needs. Um, you're doing Stratocaster, Telecaster. Right. PAF style. Yes. And P90 dog ear. Yes. And so far, whatever. And so far. Yeah. And then also, nine times out of ten, do you find people when they, do you suggest your pots with your pickups or they can do either or? Well, the thing is, you know, I don't want to force anyone to buy my pickups, right? Uh, pickups is a very personal thing, you know? Yeah. Um, I think my the pots will help basically everyone who's looking for a cleaner, clearer, more transparent and dynamic tone in their guitar. Okay. And, and I, I think well, yeah, that, right here, I can, yeah, I can firmly say that. For example, that in this guitar, right? Yeah. That was a great example, right? Um, if you have a muffled guitar that sounds, you know, something's missing, I think those pots help basically every guitar. Um, yeah. I think that together with my PF pickups, they're great. They work a well great. They, a it's well a great match. match. Yeah. Also with a with a with a P nineties. Like I, I'm a huge believer. The reason actually when I started the P nineties is because uh, the, the 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 VI pots is because I I had a had I wanted to emulate the pots in my in my junior. Yes. Yep. Which has a P ninety in them. Great P ninety. So um, you know I think I think they work great in P, with P nineties as well. Well. Again, I mean, uh, this guitar just sounds incredible now. Even acoustic, I mean, it just... It's a great guitar, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta stop Do you there. feel like this, this blanket that was like, you felt was yeah, on it? Yeah, that's right? the it's best thing. Gone, is, right? It just yeah. felt like it went from somebody talking with their hand over their mouth yeah, right. to just that open it's it's more open in 3d right. and this is a guitar you know like i said it's not a 50s it's not a 60s but it's it's gibson's first crack at, at making you know vintage spec guitars again and i mean you know i can't afford the thirty thousand dollars for the old es335 but i mean okay. with the pots the 50 style wiring i mean we just have some hellacious tone here and i'm so happy now it's like this guitar can can do it all that and a Stratocaster and a, and a P90 and a Tele. I mean, what else? What more do you need? You know. That's it. Man, I want to thank you so much again. Dude, you're more than welcome. It was a lot of fun. I'm really happy to how this. I know it was, it was a pain, I, I, but I was really like smiling just, oh. a lot when I heard that the first time. Like when you plugged it in and it sounded like that, I was like, I was extremely happy. It, so, it sounds more or less polished now. 
yeah. but it still has this yeah. like extra air that, that a Les Paul does not have. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really nice. It I'm really, really it has the attack to it. You know, like, like, it's so really that's nice. just rolled up. Look at how. And then when you want to just goose her, you and you still got more to go. Sebastian's info down below. Um, leave a comment or get in touch with Sebastian if you have some pickup needs. I've been really doing quite a few videos about potentiometers, pickups, and exploring that kind of tone because I think it's a great thing that we all should get involved with. So again, Sebastian and VIP, I want to thank everybody. It was a great day hanging out with a new friend in Boston. And uh, yeah, check out Sebastian's site. Stay tuned. Peace. Thanks a lot, I couldn't really crank um, the setup up, and not only that, I mean, uh, it was just something I wasn't familiar with. It was just a small 30 watt amp, um, no reverb, so it was really dry. But I'm home today. Um, I got the amp plugged in, just using a 20 foot cable into a Tommy Cougar head, and I'm just gonna run through the tones and uh, let you guys check it out. I'm really happy with how it sounds. The guitar is extremely universal. It's really great. It's got great tone. It's got that push-pull setting that I really, really love. But just check out the tones and have some fun.
No stairway. <laughs>